him to pay the fare of these peasants, get them off the land, and he paid less tax. And that's why he did it, not because he loved the peasants. One land or not far from here, up near Ockram and County Wicklow, the Coolatton estate, Lord Fitzwilliam, he cleared that estate of 6,000 men, women, and children in a nine year period. So by the time these people arrived in New Ross, they probably would have never left the estates they grew up on. They weren't used to travelling, and they would be shocked when they get to a busy power town like New Ross, where all that was going on, and pickpockets and diseases. But maybe the first time they arrived, they'd see ships like on Brody. Our budget only stretches to the one. There would have been dozens of these ships here in New Ross. And bear in mind, folks, these were all cargo ships. They were never meant to carry passengers. At the beginning of the famine in 1845, the cargo hold was crudely fitted out, and we don't say that lightly, crudely fitted out with bunks that con contain passengers. A ship of this size would carry on average 200 passengers in steerage. Yes, sir? They carried passengers west to America. Yeah. Did they bring back cargo? Cargo. Yeah. So, 200 passengers. All of these ships were commonly called coffin ships because on some vessels conditions were so horrendous, half the passengers didn't survive. But not all ships were that bad. Dunbrody was one of the safer ships. We have records of a trip she made to Quebec in Canada in 1847 with 313 people packed onto a vessel of that size and with only eight deaths, five on the actual voyage and three in quarantine on the other side. And we believe they were already diseased before they boarded the ship here in New Ross. The credit goes for a young Welsh captain, John Williams. He had a medical background and he would quarantine sick passengers and sometimes in his own cabin. He was quite a generous man. He provided straw as bedding, which he wasn't required to do. So he, he seemed to be a decent sort of, sort of a guy. By the standards back then, we probably would think that he wasn't that, that good today. We're going to go over on board and get some history of this, the replica, and of the original ship. We have to join this noisy crowd here. That's the rest of the passengers that want to make it to New York. Can we join them and go over for us? Yeah. I'm going to help Boston. It's the same time.